universe came out of nothing. It was nowhere, because before it there was no time, there was also no space. There was truly, truly, truly nothing. That is to say, not even a place where it happened, not even a time at which it happened. Somehow, out of this nothing, came everything. First, dust and gas gathered to form the stars. All 70,000 million, million, million of them, and counting. They clustered into 100 billion galaxies, spread over a distance of 700 billion trillion kilometers, at the very least. On the edge of one of these galaxies, nine billion years after the Big Bang, a minor planet was formed. It became known as Earth. And the reason we know all of this is because of a discovery made here just 300 years ago. Any time you look at the universe around you, you're always looking at the past. And the further out we look, the deeper we stare into the past. That discovery was the speed of light. And it's this that allows us to see back in time. Light travels at uh, about 300,000 kilometers a second. That sounds very fast, but it still means it takes light eight minutes to get here from the sun. The further out you look, the further back in time you look. It takes light about half an hour to get here from Jupiter. We see Jupiter as it was about 30 minutes ago. The deeper into space we look, the longer the light takes to get here. And so the further back in time we see. The nearest stars are about four light years away. It takes light four years to get to us. That means when we look out in space, it's a time machine. We're seeing the past of our universe. You know, when we look out at distant galaxies, we're seeing what the universe was once like. 